Good afternoon. Welcome to KCL Tech Tip Tuesday. I'm Kevin Coachman. Today we're going to talk about KCL's new CAD manager. We're going to give you some highlights on what we've improved, show you how to start using it, and we'll be open for questions at the end of the session. You can either raise your hand on the right side control panel or you can try the question or chat box and we'll do our best to address those questions. As we normally do, we're gonna start out with go to kclcad.com so you can get the software. If you're watching and don't have it, go to the download page, choose KCL5 Desktop. That is the platform that we're going to use today. That is the one with all the full features and functions. This webinar will be recorded and posted on our YouTube page. We'll talk about that at the end. When you go to run the installer, mine's already there, so I have a modify, but you choose install. And it doesn't really matter whether you have AutoCAD, Revit, or neither, as we do have KCL Napkin Sketch for those that don't use CAD. So take the defaults, next, next, and install the software. When you're done, you're going to have KCL5 on your computer. So now that we have the software installed, for those of you that have been running for some time, you're going to have to go in and set this new CAD manager until we make it a default version. So you open up KCL and you go to balloon settings at the top. I click on balloon settings. I have a program tab. And I want to check use new CAD manager. And I can see that I have the new CAD manager by a button on the toolbar that says CAD manager. If I turn it off, it goes back to the ACAD controller, which is what everyone's been using with KCL for years. So balloon settings, program, use new CAD manager. Now it changes to the new CAD manager where the goal is better communication with AutoCAD and AutoCAD LT. Uh, we're software developers. Things go well. Sometimes they don't. We fix one. Something may break. Please let us know if you're using the new CAD manager and you have problems and just use contact us. You can call. We'll try to help you, but sending us an email is great for us to be able to help you out. So let's talk about what's new once we set that up. If I hit the CAD manager button, it will show me what drawing I'm running. If I happen to have multiple AutoCADs, they will show in the dropdown and you will be able to select between them. Similar to what we had before, but hopefully improved. I'm gonna use the updated edit balloon button. We have different YouTube webinars on the details of this, but when I hit edit balloons now, it reads the drawing like it used to, but it uses the new CAD manager. Slightly different look to it, and we've got some more new things coming soon as well, but here's all my items in this test drawing a user sent to us, sorted by item number. I can edit the basic information just like before. Model number, schedule name, category, I can link to my own PDF if I need to. I can edit utility data, just like before when I hit edit utilities, a window pops up and I can edit utility information for number 901 right now. Some of the new things are applied to all item with same item number. So if I wanted to change this item number multiple times, I could change it if I want to change the model number, the schedule information. By going up to these boxes here, we'll do this. I don't know if I've tried it this way, but I'm going to say 901X, apply to all with the same number, and hit update. It just updated both 901s. I did not have to go and update them all. The same thing holds for electrical. If I went to 902, and I said, well, let's change this model number to 123. With this checkbox on, when I hit update balloon, 
it's going to all the 902s that are in that drawing because I told it to update all the same item numbers. This is something that we've had many users ask us over the years, how can I save myself from having to fix each balloon? And I'm gonna show you the AutoCAD data. There's the model number. So anything that was a 902 now has that information in it. Hopefully you find that to be helpful. Another popular question is I wanna change a balloon style. I go down my list, I pick one. I can say, let's change that to ellipse and update it. And that works for one at a time. But how do I change them all? That's the button right here. I can now, in theory, I haven't tried it on today's drawing, so we're taking a little chance, hit update all loaded balloons. If you have more than I think five or 10, it'll warn you just to make sure you know you're gonna do this to all of them. And I hit okay, and it will zoom me around the drawing, fixing the balloons. So a few new functions are improved edit balloon screen. Whenever you click on an item, it zooms it right up for you. Being able to change all your balloons is helpful. Or being able to edit data and have it apply to multiple item balloons. And here on this drawing, it looks like it might have stopped on me. So as I said, I'm working on a live test drawing that I might have something else going on. But the idea is it's one command to select them all. Okay, so what else do we have that's new? So edit balloons is the big one. I'm just gonna undo to put myself back where I was. And then I'm gonna go back to KCL and let's talk about schedules. So the generate schedule command, Again, we have webinars. This is the newer KCL schedule screen where you have KCL templates and your own templates. We're not gonna get into the details of how this part works, but a few exciting things on schedules to us are, if I said I wanna show equipment, electrical, and plumbing, no problem. I'm gonna to go to output options and I'm gonna turn something off first. I would typically say, okay, send this to AutoCAD. And now the schedule comes in as one block. It actually loads a little bit faster, but this is now one block. If I wanna modify it like I used to, I will have to explode it. If you're a user who modifies by double clicking, you have to explode it once, and then it's just like the old schedule. So we have several varieties here in the schedule. If you want it to automatically explode, there's an explode schedule command. You also have under output options, the ability to select colors for the line or the text. You can keep them the same or different. So we'll do one more schedule. Put it just above. And you can see I now have that flexibility. So that's something that's been requested that you wanna change colors. You can now control the colors. This drawing isn't very large, so this next example, I'm gonna stretch it a little bit to show you. If I go in and say I want to do just an equipment schedule with manufacturer model, but I go to output options and I choose output to multi-block schedule. The older version or existing version of KCL, you could pick the top and bottom points. That's still there. But now I can say divide it into three schedule blocks. I hit OK, run it to AutoCAD, Zoom out a little bit, there we go. And you can see it did its best. In this case, I picked three, it was equal. If I had said two, it might be one more than in the other. But you now can tell KCL to split it into a few different ways. If I go back, output options, and I say 
number of items per block. So instead of how many blocks of schedules, I can say I don't want any more than seven items in each group. It could be 27 items. It's up to you on how you want to split it. But now you can see the first one will have seven items. The next one would have seven or less. So there's some new options for building the schedule that are part of this updated controller. Exploding the schedule after you load it. The schedule generation is faster. And then the output options, you now can do multi-block schedules again with new options, as well as selecting your layer colors, I'm sorry, your line color or your text color. There's another brand new schedule that we've added. I don't have it really set up yet. I'm the system, I happen to be on a temporary one today, but there's now a budget report that will include the list price. Its only output is to Excel. So we're just going to come up with a name. And we tie this in. It can work with AutoCAD, but we really tied this in to work with Napkin Sketch. And so if someone's creating a small sketch and they want to be able to generate a schedule with prices, if the manufacturer supplied us with list prices, we'll show them. You as a user all have the ability to edit the Excel file when you're done, or in KCL itself, you can edit information in your private cloud and you have a list price field. So if you were to put in your most commonly used items, we're going to give you a price to start. We're going to give you the ability to join an Excel file. This is not a quotation. We're just trying to give you the ability to create a quick and easy budget in Excel. So we've got the new edit balloons and new features. We've got the updated schedules and the new budget report. Uh, we're very excited about improved communication with AutoCAD. It should be much faster for the AutoCAD LT users now, and hopefully a little more rock solid for full AutoCAD. And that's today's webinar. It's kind of a short and sweet to the point, but those are the new things. Just to review one more time, you go to Balloon Settings. And in Balloon Settings, the Program tab, and you have to check Use New CAD Manager. If you have any questions, feel free to use Contact Us. Send us a note, and we'll get back to or help you out. If you are someone who likes watching YouTube videos to learn, we have a YouTube button at the top of KCL. These are the latest webinars we've done. The video button will show you all of them and we will have this posted as well. But if you wanna know more about the group screen, custom blocks, layer mapping, we have videos here and we'd be happy to set up a private webinar just for your team feel free to call or email. So thank you for listening today. We appreciate your support. We hope everyone stays healthy. If you have any questions, please feel free to either use the hand raise or send us a question and we'll take them as they come in. Thanks.